Okay, so welcome to tonight's beginner class video. <laughs> uh, because I'm making trips up and down Dufferin Street. Uh, I, at last report, about 12.30 this afternoon, everybody in Nova Scotia, Jennifer and her mom and dad, especially her dad who just went through surgery yesterday, are doing just fine. Uh, but they are recovering at home, so it's concerning because Bill and Joyce are both 83. And uh, so I'm really glad Jennifer is there to give a hand. Uh, anyway, so we'll proceed with our with our uh, class video tonight. And last week we learned the Silver Spear, which is a really great tune. And I got a video already from one of you guys of, of that tune. And it sounds really good. And uh, it's a, such a good one to have. Everybody plays it. Everybody. Uh, and uh, so it, it, we played it actually at the session on Thursday night. Uh, it was great. It was a great. It's always a good one uh, when you're sitting around with people that might not know the same tunes as you. Chances are they know the Silver Spear. Like I've played it in 10 different countries. So I'm really glad we learned that tune. Now tonight, what I'd like to start off with, yes, we'll warm up our regular G major, but we're also going to do D major in the octave and a half. And I think we've done that before, but I'll go over again what we do to play D major in an octave, octave and a half, because we can't play it in two octaves on a fiddle without shifting up to the uh, to the dusty end of the fingerboard, which we do not want to do tonight. So we'll practice the D major octave and a half scale and arpeggio, and we'll also, I'll show you some double stops in the key of D there that we can do as, uh, as exercises. And also, we're going to look at a couple of bowing elements with the Silver Spear tonight. Because one important thing with the Silver Spear is the up-ups. Very important. There's a lot of cuts in the tune and some long notes. And if you don't have the up-ups there, then it's going to make you bow every, fra every second phrase backwards. Doesn't feel great on the arm. Doesn't make you sound really strong. Okay, so we'll come up with a little bowing plan for the Silver Spear, and it's not complicated. The bowing plan for Silver Spear, very uncomplicated. Just a few up bow slurs with two notes in them. That's all you gotta worry about. But it is a very important element. As you know, we've done up ups before, and it's a very important element for fiddling, so I think we should look at it right away. Now that you have the Silver Spear under your fingers, I think we should get it also under the right arm, and this would be perfect tune, tune to do it with. And then we'll practice drowsy, and we'll see if we can shove them together. Uh, smash them together there, the, the Drowsy Maggie and the Silver Spear would be a really good set. So let's start with our regular old G major here. I'm going to get my tuner up and uh, happening so we can keep our eye on it and make sure we're doing a good job, keep you all honest. And I tuned up there. This house is uh, is 45% relative humidity, humidity, which is not ideal for the fiddles. I gotta say. But I noticed this thing. I come down here, and oftentimes I pick it up, and it's out of tune. And so I started to wonder, and I did break that E string while I was playing there a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago now. So I was wondering, you know, and then I, re I forgot that I have this nice little hydrometer here on my, my dad's old barometer, and it's it's showing me 45% humidity, which is not great. The normal range is between 50 and 75. And uh, so during the summer, it was kind of well in that range, but now that it's winter, it's gone really dry. So I gotta, I gotta get a humidifier and keep my eye on that because Fiddles do not like dry. They don't mind moist too much, but they do not like dry. So, especially Dad's old girl there, the old Frenchie, you gotta watch her. Anyway, so now that I'm in tune, let's try our G major just to get the hand working, and we'll do it a good couple of times, and then we're gonna try the uh, the uh, D major in an octave and a half. So here we go, G, ready, go. <laughs>
do our arpeggio right away. Ready? Go. Okay, now hopefully that all was went well for you and no problems there. And we're going to try it a bit faster right away. Okay, so let's try it now. So that was your tuner. Hopefully you were tuning your notes. And now we're going to see how that tuning, tuning work worked out. We're going to go a little bit faster. A one, two, three, go. <laughs> Arpeggio, uh, ready, go. One more arpeggio to be sure to be sure. Ready, go. Okay, so that's the G. Hopefully you're nice and warmed up and everything's falling down exactly where it should fall. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the D major in a couple, uh, an octave and a half there, all right? So that's where we start off on the D and we go all the way up to high A. That's E3, okay? And we go all the way down to low A. Uh, that's G1 because we want to practice those uh, notes in the key of D on the G string being C sharp always a bit of a surprise, uh, B and A. And the C sharp, that's the stretchy, right? The stretch third finger. So it always needs some extra work for sure. So let's do it. Let's do it very slowly, first of all. Let me, first of all, I'll demonstrate the scale. I don't know if we've done it. So we start on D. Up we go. that and then we come down you see how that works there now you see when you when you can't do a scale in two octaves on the fiddle uh, that's what you do. You do, you do kind of a, an octave and a half and it's usually good to start and stop on arpeggio notes in the key that you're in. It makes a little bit more sense to the ear. Okay, so that's how you do it. We start on D, we go all the way up to the high A, E3, all the way down to the low A, G1. Okay, let's give that a try and I'm going to go slow. I'm going to give you guys time to tune. Slightly different shape of the hand from G, I'm sure you've noticed. Let's do it. Ready? Slow.
Okay, so that was D major in an octave and a half. All right, now hopefully you didn't have too much trouble finding those notes. Let's just do it again right away, shall we? Ready, go. her again okay D major and an octave and a half so hopefully you're having a good time with those notes now I think we should try one more go at the D major and an octave and a half ready go <laughs> her again okay D major and an octave and a half so hopefully you're having a good time with those notes now the arpeggio is uh, starts on the low A and then it's gonna be D and then F sharp and then A D again F sharp and A that's how the arpeggio goes. Then you come back down to A, one, three, A, two, open, and the low one. That's how that works. So now I've written that out and attached it so you can follow along with the with the letters and numbers there to tell you what we're what we're playing. And uh, and we'll we'll give it a try. Okay, so we're starting on the low A. Here it is. So you can tune it there. I'll give it to you again. So let's do that. Let's start with the low A. Open D. D two. A. A three. E one. E3, E1 again, A3, open A, D2, open B, G1. Okay, now I know not everybody likes those letters and numbers, so now I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to give you the letter names of the notes, okay? You start with the low A, then it's gonna be D. So let's try that low A. And then D. 
F sharp. A. D. F sharp. A. F sharp. D. A. F sharp. D. Low A. try that one more time. So now we'll try that arpeggio and I'm not going to call out your letters and numbers. You're gonna you're on your own, okay? Here's your low A. That's the only hint you get. Ready? Go. So now, double stops in the key of D. Now, as I've written out there on that uh, little sheet, uh, we got we start off with the low A and the D together. And it's kind of my go-to for the key of D when, like, if I tur finish the tune, you know, like. See, that's a really nice way to finish a tune. It's a fourth. Uh, so that's G1 and open D together. A and D together. See that? Then the next one is going to be open D and open A. The fifth. See that? And then we got F sharp and A. D2. And open A together. So, so it sounds those three together. And then the opens again. A3 and open D an octave. D and D. See that? The next one is going to be the D. Leave the D there on the A string and we're going to put the first finger on the E string and play a third. See that? That's the D and F sharp on the A and E string. And then we're going to finish it off with a big octave. A and A together. E3 and open A. And then we'll come back down the same way. Okay, so let's give that a try and I'll call them out. G1, open D, A and D together. Opens. Oh, let's try that again. Okay, G1, open D together. Open D, open A. F sharp and A. Opens again. A3 open D. E1, A3. E3 open A. Back to the third. A3 open D. Opens. D2 open A. Opens again. And here we go to low A. Now follow along the piece of paper I, I sent you there with the uh, with the combos written out there so I don't have to call them out. And we're going to do two bows like we usually do per pair of strings. So we start out with the G1 and open D. We'll do two of those nice and slow.
Now, hopefully those went all right. Remember your angle, remember your gentleness, and they should come out really good. This It's great to do double stops in the Silver Sphere. Like, I even start on one. See, every time I play that F sharp in the Silver Sphere, I play the A with it. Really beefs things up, okay? Now, let's try that set of arpeggios a couple of more times, shall we? Open B, we'll do two of those nice and slow. Okay, so let's grind away at this silver spear a good few times here, nice and slow.
more time. Hopefully I got along okay with the Silver Spear three times there. Now let's talk about bowing. So in this tune there are cuts, as you know. Uh, the cut on the F or on the A, dum B da da da. Now the problem is is that uh, if you don't correct your bowing after the cut, then you're going to be going backwards for the next phrase, which is not ideal. Uh, we want to start our phrases on a down bow if at all possible. Uh, because it helps with the strength. Our down bow is our strong note. We've got gravity, easy to move the bow straight, so our down bow is our strong note. So what we do to turn our bow around, uh, we go, so we do the cut, then the next two notes are in an up bow. Just like that. That's all you have to do. And remember that down, up, up? Well, it's coming in handy now, okay? So that's how you do that. Sing the second part, it's not a cut, but it's a long note, same length. Cut and a, long, and a quarter note are the same length, so you have to do the same thing with your bow. Up, up. Down, up, up. Up, up. So it's just a few, it's just a few little times of up ups that you have to do to get this tune to work properly. And like I said, I've written them into the part there uh, so that you can see exactly where they go. Okay, now let's go nice and slow and see if we can fit that up up into the first part. So it starts the same way, F A A A A. Up up. Over to the F. That's how that works. Okay, let's try that idea again. Ready, and... Up, up. Okay, now hopefully that's working for you. Just two notes in the up bow. It would, it would be the B and the A. And then down for the F. So let's do it again. F, A, cut, cut, cut. Up, up, down, up. Ready, go. Everybody's getting that idea of the up-up. 
Let's try it again in this first part. Ready? And. Up, up. Keep going. strong and the other thing is is that it makes you able to bow the phrases exactly the same way when you bow the phrases exactly the same way it makes you sound stronger it makes the rhythm stronger and uh, makes it easier on the right arm okay it's a pattern right so that's how you do that first part now let's see about the second part that's where the up up is going to be between the F, a and the f sharp there In one bow a f sharp and then down for the B, okay? So let's try that, just that first bit. They've got the long F. Up, up. Down, up. See how that works out so nicely. Uh, let's try it again. Down on the long F. Up, up. Down we go. Okay, you see how that lick works? Try it again, ready, go. Here we go. again on it down and I had a long note at the end the the endings of this tune are the long B and the long A so there are long notes there but we don't have to do any bow correction because once you play the long B you play the long A that's the correction see that uh, so anyway so that's how that works and uh, let's try that whole second part I'll call out the up ups first and then we'll try it without that ready and up up Down the scale, up the scale, down, up, up, So great on the arm. So now let's try playing the whole silver spear both times and I'll call out the up ups this time around and then we'll try it again without me calling it out and we'll see how that goes. Okay so let's give this a go. The silver spear slow with the up ups in. A one, two, three, and
cups. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too much trouble, and hopefully we can get somewhere with the with the bowing of this tune, and it'll help with the uh, speed. That's that's kind of the point. It'll help with the speed of the tune if we can get it up there. Okay, now we're gonna try. We're gonna grind away. Try a little faster with the bowing in. So now that we've worked out the bowing and got it in the tune, I'd like to try just a tiny, tiny touch faster. Now, when we tried it before, our speed was about 55 on the metronome. So I'd like to try it just a little tiny bit faster. I'm gonna bump her up here to 60. Yeah, perfect, okay? So we're gonna try it a good couple of times at 60. Fiddle's out of tune again. Oh my god, this house. Mm. And the tuner freezes. Untunable, if I switch between tuner and uh, metrodome, it freezes, unfortunately. Let's see here. Here we go. One, two, three, and... Thank you. 
up with that all right. That's Silver Spirit 60. And, uh, and uh, now we're going to try smashing it together with, uh, what do you call it, Drowsy Maggie there. And I think Drowsy Maggie should come first. Okay, so let's practice Drowsy Maggie just once. Make sure it's all in there nice and slow. Ready. try to put them together. Drowsy Maggie followed by the Silver Spear two times each. So limber up there. You're going to need to limber up and get that left hand ready for a lot of playing. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now we're going to try the two tunes two times each together. And just to address the scene before we start, so we're playing Drowsy first and going into Silver. And I think that's a great way to do it because you go from the minor to the major. It's really, really nice change. A very common change too. And these tunes are actually very, very commonly put together as I, I think I did when I was a younger lad. Uh, the uh, Drowsy Maggie followed by the Silver Spear. I think it's pretty common. So anyway, so the scene... Uh, that's it. Very, very easy. couple times though because that's it's it's easy but it's relentless there's no long note to give you any help there it's just all the eighth notes right from one tune to the other like a seamless kind of go so let's do that so let's from this part okay from the high high a part the last two bars of uh, drowsy maggie into the first two bars of silver spear i'll show you again slowly safety belts, extinguish your cigarettes, and let's do this. Okay. One, two, three, and... Okay, we better get a better tempo there. One, two, three,
double stops at the end there. D and A together. Really, really good way to end that. So there you go. That's your set of uh, Drowsy Maggie followed by Silver Spear. Now, if you have the energy in your arm, I would love to try it again. Right away, exactly the same except better. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, and... <laughs>
do some double stops at the end there. D and A together. Really, really good way to end that. So there you go. That's your set of uh, Drowsy Maggie followed by Silver Spear. Now, if you have the energy in your arm, I would love to try it again right away. Exactly the same except better. Okay, here we go. Okay, everybody, that was a lot of hard work tonight, uh, and I'm, I'm hoping that you guys are able to uh, pause the video, like when we did Drowsy Maggie and the Silver Spear together, and we did it twice there. Hopefully you pause the video between them, have a little break, limber up your arms. You know, one thing about all this play and that we're getting into lately because we're, you know, learning more and getting more skills, so we're, the bow is on the strings a lot more these days during the class, and a lot less of me yakking. So uh, I want you to make sure that you do your rollouts, okay, when you need to, uh, that you do your stretches if you need to, or just simply just shaking your hands a little bit there between the long goes of playing that we do, especially at the slow tempos, okay? You have to stay loose to play the fiddle, okay? So next week, back to Abnormal, and we'll get back to work. And thanks again for putting up with the video. I really appreciate it.